So we get a lot of questions in our training and our technical service department uh, about some of the troubleshooting of our Omen light towers. Uh, one of the things that's key to our success and what we use on all of our product uh, or all of our light towers is what we call our SLS system. That's sequential lighting system. What this does is protect um, your equipment being the generator, uh, the ballast, the capacitors, everything that makes up our lighting circuit from inadvertent startups or shutdowns. Anytime that somebody starts up a generator uh, under load, basically you're, you're creating a high amperage environment for those electrical components. Um, so what we've done is we created this SLS system. We have an SLS controller that waits to see um, 120 volts at our main breaker before it'll turn on individual light relays that allows power to flow from the light breakers through those relays and off to our ballast capacitors or even drivers on our LED units. Um, so we get a lot of calls where somebody says, hey, I just started up my unit, my lights aren't coming on, it runs for 45 seconds and then shuts off. What we're looking back for is we wanna see if we have that 120 volts at our main breaker. If we don't, then we're looking back at our capacitor or our generator at being the issue, not supplying voltage. So since we're looking for the 120 volts at our main breaker, if we do have the 120 volts, we know our, in, our generator and uh, the capacitor inside the generator are both working and supplying power, but we're still shutting off in that 45 second period. Uh, we're gonna be looking at the orange wire coming out of the main breaker. It's gonna have an inline fuse with it. It's going to feed another 120 volt relay. And so, uh, once that relay sees 120 volts from the main breaker, it's going to switch over and allow uh, 12 volt power come from your key switch into pin four of our SLS controller. And so the SLS controller is also gonna have a green LED light on it. If that's flashing, uh, it's gonna let you know that the unit started up and running. Uh, once they solid green, it's letting you know everything's good and everything's working. Um, so uh, pin four on the SLS controller receives that 12 volt signal. Um, it's, from there, it's going to send power out on eight, nine, and 10. Uh, to individual light relays um, that are gonna switch over and allow that power to flow from uh, the light breakers to the ballast capacitors and uh, the lights or to the drivers and then to the lights if you have LED. Um, but that's, that's what we're looking at. If, if the unit still shuts off, um, if, but we have all that power supply, uh, we just know that it's our SLS controller is causing the shutdown because um, it, it holds power for uh, your fuel solenoids um, or your fuel relay. Uh, into your fuel solenoid off pin seven. So um, that'll, that'll pretty well explain what your shutdown is and how to resolve it and what you're looking for. Um, so if we start up our unit and it shuts down within 10 to 15 seconds, uh, what we're looking for there is still off of our SLS controller, uh, but it's getting a bad signal from either your high, uh, low oil pressure switch or your uh, high water temperature switch. Um, so low oil pressure will shut down the unit in 10 seconds. Uh, high water temp will shut it down in 15 seconds. And those are both feeding into pins two and three on the SLS controller. Um, so pretty well, anytime that unit shuts down right away, if we can tell it's not um, fuel related, um, it's not, you know, the engine's not surging or chugging or anything, uh, we know it's gonna be one of those uh, values that the SLS is looking for uh, that's out of spec.